this is a scary draft. Mm, everyone wanted to play their mage assassins, so I had to pick a healer. I don't know, I felt like playing Alexstrasza for some reason. Uh, and now we gotta have to deal with uh, Illidan with Divine Shield on him somehow. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. And then if I ever make a mistake, Stitches is going to, like, uh, he's just gonna catch me and kill me. <laughs> I'm kind of afraid of that. Uh, I think for my ultimate I will pick the flame thing, cleansing flame. Not the healing one, because I think Stitches can break the heal by using Gorge, right? I'm not sure, but I think he would, because uh, the... One of the heroes would be existing on like a different plane or whatever, right? Uh, so the link will be broken, maybe? At least that's what I'm thinking. And even then I think Cleansing Flame would be better to escape and to maybe help the Kirakels. Uh, like, we have these two just combo mages <laughs> and if they land their stuff, great, but if they ever like miss things, it's like a missed kill here, a missed kill there, it's gonna be rough. Especially against the team that doesn't let you recover really, right? Like uh, you can just walk away from a fight against Illidan Stitches the Haka. They will just chase you down and they just lick you and hook you <laughs> and keep jumping on your face. Uh, yeah, there's no running away from that. Uh, so having our combo mage set up is not working into our favor, but if they land things and uh, just murder Illidan instantly, all in Ming, it, it's it's gonna work out well. Hmm, I think I would need to go the Q build, just, just Q build and then stay as far away from everything as possible. Uh, yeah. The problem with this one is that if I ever catch a skill shot from the Ming, or if Illidan actually harasses me all the time, uh, then I wouldn't be able to heal my teammates. So I like that's why I'm kind of not a huge fan of this build, but I feel like we need it. I feel like we need that burst uh, pinpoint healing. So let's try and make it happen. And here comes Siladan. And there he goes. <laughs> Not bad, not bad. And we get a globe from this? Yes! Yes, we do! There we go. Got the kill. All I wanted, really. Just got the kill. There we go. Alexstrasza the carry coming in. Yep, that's gonna be annoying. <laughs> and that hook is going to be quite annoying and scary. How are you doing, Orphea? Okay, well, have fun, Orphea. Loyalty is its own reward. Interesting hook. Gonna keep him slowed. This is working not too bad, actually. For how much I was complaining that we might be in trouble here, this is this is uh, so far so good. So far so good. How does this work? Oh, it, it only recharges at level one. Ah, oh, that sucks. Like you actually need level four for this to sustain. Actually, no, level seven. Life blossom. That's where you can keep spamming your cues. Oh. Um. Yep. Hooks are fun. <laughs> I have my dragon. I'm gonna save it for the good old objective phase. And uh, yeah. Yeah. We are losing a bunch of experience. Even though we have <laughs> two extra kills, we are way behind in experience. We are like three, four kills behind right now because. Yeah, nobody was soaking, because why would you? Um. Abundance... I think I will use Exuberance. Since I want to stay safe all the time, I'm just gonna invest. I'm just gonna put all of my eggs into that one basket of staying above 75% health and see what happens. Right? 
Like, things, not, nothing can go wrong. It's, 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 it's not a bad idea to do that, right? <laughs> well, I can't really heal that. That's too much. That's way too much. Okay, so Illidan will probably let Orphea capture it. I'm totally okay with that. And uh, that was a catch by Keltuzana. That's nice. I'm gonna go Dragon Mode. Okay, just don't run away though, right? How about, how about we don't run away, Jim? How about we fight in the dragon? Dragon dragon is fun. Dragon is good. He's your friend. She's your friend? Something. Do not stay aggressive. It's very cool how uh, your effectiveness, Alexstrasza, kind of depends on your ability to position your um, abundances. Because if you are too passive with them, then your teammates can't actually like can't actually use them because they would need to run all the way back in order to use them to do that. But like if you place them too aggressively, then your teammates die before your healing triggers, right? It's very interesting how it works. That's why I like her as a healer. Like she she's very thoughtful, you know. And of course, your teammates can just walk away and not ever get healed by you too. So I get a chance to complain about nobody wanting my healing. So that's also a part. That's also like a big part of Alexstrada fun. Okay, life blossom. So now I just need to stay above seventy-five percent health, and then I have free healing. And that's a good. That was a good play by Illidan there, by the way. That was a very good play by Illidan. Yep, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Uh, he basically baited me into healing um, Orphea. Right, like he engaged Orphea and me in the backline, which allowed the other team to just murder Keltuzad because I invested all of my healing into our backline so that Illidan doesn't kill us. And it was like, well, I can probably only save one of you, right? Maybe I could have just ignored Illidan and saved Keltuzad, but I'm not sure if Orphea would have survived then. So I don't know. Uh, the only difficult part about this stunt, by the way, is picking up those blossoms. Because if you heal somebody who is all the way in the enemy team, then you would need to go all the way into the enemy team to pick up that blossom and get the uh, mana reduction. And that kind of um, kind of counters. Okay, cool. I'm glad we just. Yep. Cool. Great. Cool. <laughs> awesome. Well done. Really well done. No. That sucks. My uh, dragon queen was also on cooldown that whole time, so I wasn't able to use it as like early before the fight starts. And then when I already used it, my Orphea just walked away somewhere, God knows where, and well, nobody was able to kill anything because Keltuzad was also dead, and we have those two mages to kill things. And if they ever don't kill something, <laughs> it doesn't get killed. We'll see though. Maybe this will somehow work out later on. Mm, like this is could be this could be like a good kill on the Haka here, for example. It's not too bad. Uh, and I can heal up Johanna basically for free. Like with that level seven, you just heal people for free. It feels good. I am not. We don't have any hero who can kill a boss. Like not a single one. Not a single one. <laughs> and that was the hunt. Okay, so we can do this. Well. If only he survived for like a second longer. Be ready. The altars are rising from the mists. That feels much better. Thank you, movement speed. 
As much as I'm complaining that I'm gonna be like in trouble sitting in the front line, I can also kind of like walk in and out of it real fast with my extra movement speed, so that's fun. And uh, then that happens, and that's not fun. And then that keeps happening. And then we got that. And it used incorrectly. You need to use that thing on tanks because, well, it doesn't do any damage to the initial target, it only roots them. But it does a lot of damage to surrounding targets, and you use it on tanks, and then their whole team is either forced to run away from it so that they don't get murdered, or the tank gets, um, like, or they stay inside the route and maybe, like, try to fight in it, and since they risk just getting destroyed. Uh, but don't use it on kill targets. It's not gonna help, probably, at all. Especially against Uther, who can just Divine Shield them, right? Like, <laughs> ah. oh well, what can you do? Mm. And uh, that's uh, that happens, so yep, <laughs> of course. Oh, that's that's better. Not that it's going to change much, but it's better. If only people knew how to actually team fight in this one, it would also help. Where I trail, light it's just not looking good. Like, every single time you have a bunch of people drafting mages, you know it's just going to be this type of a game. Right again, okay, like we've got all the best ultimates in this game, by the way. We got the Falling Sword, we got March, <laughs> when we... <sighs> Again, like March against Illidan. Oh, we've got uh, just all the things. The Crystal Blast, the Frost Blast thing on the Keltuzad. Oof. And then, yeah, wonderful. And then Kel'Thuzad doesn't want to serve because he dies when he serves. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That's, 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 that's the kind of a team you want in your team, right? That's a gorgeous, gorgeous team right there. Okay, I want to fly off. So I'm gonna fly off. And the reason we flied off is because we get our W back. We're gonna be flying around for so long that we actually get our cooldowns back. And they just run away. Why are you running away, Tim? Your healer is here. Oh, we actually looted him. There we go. There we go. We'll keep them slowed. Nice and slowed so that we can murder everyone. Come on, team. Nice and slowed. Nice and... S cool. Great. Hello, Keltuzad. Almost dying to the Hawkeye. That's that's beautiful. I expect nothing less. Um, I don't even know what to pick at level 13 here. I feel like I feel like pacify will probably be the best. Just removing Liming as a threat, right? Also, we do have two tanks. I don't know. I don't know. They do have a lot of stuns and silences, so maybe... Let's actually use this one, Life Unbound. So because when we heal a target who is crowd controlled, we get the cooldown back. And since we got a very long silence from the Hawkeye, a bunch of stuns and uh, all of that nonsense... Uh, <laughs> stuns, roots, everything. We, we got them all. Uh, so, we should be able to get a lot of value from it, I think. Like, for example, we can heal uh, her there and get the cooldown reductions easily. Okay, the Hawker is being real annoying. I'm just gonna use this here so that I can get to high health, so that my heals actually heal. Because, like, when you, when you fall on low life, you just kind of stop healing. You don't want to do that. Obey my call! And Johanna is dead? Unless I can say something about that? 
Okay, she will just do that. Cool. Nice, nice. Well, that's not a that wasn't a bad fight for how long it was. We somehow managed uh, managed to come on top there. Well done, I guess. Well done. I like how we just don't care about the temples, so because who needs those anyway? Okay, I'm just gonna grab this, and uh, Johanna will protect me. Boom! Beautiful. And uh, then we just walk away. Uh, do I want armor? I mean, as much as I'm like, yeah, I want to commit to this, I feel like Draconic Discipline would be good, because that I can kill... I can cast, uh, I think, three um, abundances, empowered abundances. I think, uh, by using my ultimate to like pause the Dragon Queen, I think. So we'll try that. Well then. And here comes the Divine Shield. Nice. Just gonna keep spamming my heals, they are free, they recharge super fast. Johanna actually made a good setup there, but we didn't have anybody else with us, sadly. We don't even need them, I guess Leoric... March, March of the Black King is truly, truly the ultimate that you have to use here, obviously. As we can like clearly see, uh, Johanna and Leoric just murdering everybody. That's uh, all thanks to that march, and um, yeah, could not have been a better choice. Chomp, chomp, chomp. I'm gonna keep healing with Leoric. Uh, well, in <laughs> except if I miss my heal. There we go, another Empire of the Abundance. I can't get four, right? Nope. Three? No, can't get three preservations. It's fine though. Uh, Dragon Queen is really powerful, so I'm okay with just using that. Well done! Wow, that was a good hook. If I didn't just randomly move there last second, that would have landed on me and I would have been dead. But I don't even know why I moved. I, like, I don't even know why I did that. It just kind of happened. That was like a complete accident that saved my life. Those are the best accidents, so... <laughs> ah, cool stuff. Okay, give me that health. I'm gonna heal you so that I can get a flower. For future use, because while I have a flower, I don't use any health. And that way, if I just stay back, I can get things done. Um, okay. Oh, I still got the flower somehow. Cool. I'm cool with that. And the uh, Orphea is dead. She ju just stay in the healing. Seriously. Oh gosh, and now I'm also dead. Or maybe not. I'm still alive, team. The power gifted by the Titans. Hell yeah. I feel like that's worth it. Removing that Illidan always helps. I think. Gonna grab the flower. Try not to get hooked like that. I healed her. Don't know how much that will help her. I have another heal. Okay. Kinda worked out. Not the Haka. Okay. Okay. Um, yep. I can't sell you, Johanna, I'm afraid. I don't have the sustain. She's playing well, though. Like, this Johanna is uh, surviving really well, which can be a little bit difficult. What is that? Who is here? There you go, Keltazad. You won't die. Not today. Not today, Keltazad. Not today. 
Burn them! Oh, who is here? Illidan? Usar? There is Illidan. Hello. That was kind of a wasted uh, circle of healing there. That's not ideal. Oh, thank you for that shield, though. That helped me greatly. I need like a second. I need to survive for just like a second longer. And then I can just ult. There we go. Hello, Lyoric. Damn. <laughs> Somehow we are winning this game. I can't believe it. Jesus. Ooh. That was hard. That was a hard one, but getting that Q build going was really, really fun. Like, I'm glad that I invested into that because it, it, it kind of worked. Uh, only, only in that last fight, like in that last uh, little bit of a, a brawl we had there with Johanna, Illidan and Ulcer, uh, Illidan actually paid a lot of attention to me, which I feel like he should have been doing this whole game. Because I was always kind of alone in the backline, right? Like Corfi, I was always tanking, there was like Johanna and Leoric trying to get kills too. Uh, and it was just me in the backline throwing those heals on them. And if Illidan ever just turned his gaze on me and just tunneled me into oblivion, I would not have been able to heal my teammates and I would have died myself every single time. So I feel like that's... Like that's the only reason why this uh, Q build worked. Like, uh, it's so hard to pull off, but I feel like I made it work. Ooh, that was a hard one. <laughs> that was lots of hard to heal people. <laughs> and just managing all of my cooldowns, it was kind of exhausting. But it was also really, really satisfying. And that's also what I'm talking about when I'm saying that Alexstrasza is like really fun um, to heal as, because you need to just calculate so much like all of your cooldowns like when do you want to use which ability where do you throw which ability and you could see that i was missing a bunch of abundances a bunch of my w's uh, i was trying kind of trying to position them more or less aggressively but then uh, my like orphia for example would just straight up run away like she wouldn't even try to stay in the fight she would just run away and i didn't know that it was her plan so like my abundance would be completely wasted because it would be positioned way too aggressively for what she was comfortable with with at that moment uh, and it's like communication helps with that i guess but it can be wonky yeah, but it's still super fun like alexstrasza is just such a great healer